So there's this one thing second time founders obsess over and first time founders don't know any better, including myself, I made the same mistake. It's distribution. Second time founders obsess over distribution. They obsess about go to market strategy. Now don't get me wrong, product is important, but if you don't have distribution, nothing else matters. So in this episode, as we get into 2021, I wanna make sure you drive growth for your SaaS business. I wanna make sure you drive epic growth for your SaaS business. And so I'm gonna walk you through the three things you absolutely need to know to make sure you nail your go-to-market strategy, your distribution strategy, because it really matters. Nothing else matters beyond that. Intro. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Unstoppable. I'm TK, and on this channel, I help SaaS founders like you grow your SaaS businesses faster with an unstoppable strategy. First of all, Happy New Year. Second of all, if you are new to this channel, welcome. I drop an episode like this three times a week with the TK energy to help SaaS founders like you grow your SaaS businesses faster, so be sure to hit the subscribe button and that bell icon because when you do that, you'll get notified when I drop an episode like this. If you're already part of our community, if you're part of my SaaS go-to-market coaching program, welcome, so awesome to see you over here. All right, so I started this podcast recently. It's called SaaS and Scotch. SaaS and Scotch, and it's the two things I love the most. It's uh, Lagerville and Scotch and SaaS businesses. And the thing I'm doing in the podcast, which I don't do in this YouTube channel, is I'm interviewing people. And I'm not interviewing people who are massively successful and have gone to the beach and now have all the answers. Like that, there's enough podcasts like that. I'm also not doing interviews where it's like theatrics, because there's enough podcasts and shows like that. What I'm doing is interviewing founders who are actively doing the Shawshank crawl to product market fit. Founders like you and me. And it's been super rewarding. I'll link to it below, or you can just go to tkk.com slash podcast. To, it's an all major uh, podcast platforms. But uh, as I've been doing these interviews, um, there's one pattern I've started to see, because I've interviewed some founders who, that are going at it for the second time, and they're in the Shawshank crawl. And one of the big things I focus on is like, okay, what's different second time around? Like, how are you doing this? What are you doing differently? And the one thing that consistently sticks out is the fact like almost guaranteed, they're like, go to market, distribution. And, and, and I can attest to this, when baby TK was starting out Tout App, I focused a lot more on product and I didn't focus as much on go to market until I was forced to. There was this one investor that sat me down, incredible investor, Owen Davis. He was one of our early investors. And he was like, TK, I know you love product, but you're gonna have to let the product get to 80% so that go to market catches up. Otherwise, it won't matter. No one will use your beautiful product. And that, that struck me. We were sitting in some random Starbucks in New York City. That's where Owen is. And it struck me and I had to make that change. And it was tough to get out of that one more feature trap. And as I interview these second time founders, as I think about myself as a second time, third time founder, I'm like, oh man, like it's so true, distribution trumps everything. Because the more distribution and go-to-market you have, the more customer conversations you're gonna have, the more customer conversations you're gonna have, the more they're gonna tell you what they actually want versus what you think that they want. So everything becomes easier, even your product becomes better. So in this episode, I wanna dig into the three principles you absolutely need to know to strengthen your go-to-market, to fortify your go-to-market, to double down on your go-to-market, to have the best year of growth ever. That's what we're gonna dig into. The three things that, that will just put, put you on turbo. So if you're excited to dig in, go ahead and smash that like button and let's go to principle number one for your go-to-market strategy in 2021. Principle number one is you gotta nail, double down your ICP. ICP is your ideal customer profile, but it's also your initial customer profile. So what I want you to do is ask yourself, what revenue am I in right now? What revenue do I want to get to right now? So let's just say you are at 100K of ARR and you wanna to get to a million in ARR, right? Now, I want you to take that difference, 900K, I want you to think about what your average deal size is. You divide it by that average deal size and you figure out how many clients you need. Assume a 20% win rate, so that means that's how many leads you need. All right, are you starting to get the math? Now, that is your initial customer profile, all right? That's how many leads. Who are these people? Where do they live? What are they about? That's your ideal customer profile, your initial customer profile. A lot of times when I talk about ICP, founders are like trying to calculate the whole world, get this big TAM. Really what you need to do is nail down your ICP for this year. Who are the leads and the customers that you really wanna target? What do they look like? That is gonna get you to your revenue goal. And not just 
you know, if you if you need 50 clients with your average deal size, it's not 50, it's 50 times 1.2, or I'm bad at math, but you get the idea. You're gonna need a lot more leads and you're gonna close 20% of the leads to get to the 50 number. So what is your ICP for that? That's it, get super specific, fortify that. Really, really define the ICP in, in that level of detail. You do that, I promise you, it's gonna bring a lot of clarity in your go-to-market strategy for this year. The second principle is your manifesto. Your manifesto, otherwise known as your strategic message or your strategic narrative. You, you need to actually define that, you need to build that. It may take a week, it may take two weeks, it may take a month, it may take three months, I don't know. Depends on how good you are at developing these things. You need to do it, here's why. Um, as part of your go-to-market strategy, you're gonna have to put stuff on your website. You're gonna have to write emails. You're gonna have to have ads. You're, if you're not doing it, your junior marketing person is gonna be doing it. You probably have a junior to mid-level marketing uh, person because it's your early stage. You can't afford a senior seasoned marketing person. That's just the way it is. So if you don't have a proper manifesto, a proper strategic narrative, all those things are gonna be ad hoc. If you actually build your manifesto, then you're gonna actually have a proper narrative that will deploy into every single touch point the customer has with you and your brand. You'll have a clear value proposition. You'll have a clear explanation of why they need to take action now. If you do that, every single execution piece that you or your team does will actually up level. If you don't do that, everything's gonna be ad hoc, everything's gonna be disconnected, there won't, there won't be any cohesity around the brand or the message and won't quite work, it'll just be spinning your wheels. So principle number two is nail your strategic narrative, nail your manifesto. If you wanna learn more about how to create a manifesto, I did a video on this, how to create a manifesto. It gives you some high level principles, you can also follow the link below, you don't have to go right now. Um, and I dig a little bit more into how to really revamp your manifesto. All right, now before I go to the third piece, which is equally important, let me just pause here for a second. If you're starting to see the patterns on this, if you're starting to see the importance of this, if you're starting to see, okay, TK may have talked about these pieces before, but I see how it's more important than ever in 2021 for me to drive growth. Can I just get a yes in the comments below? Also smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. It really likes it, I really like it, and the team really likes it. We just really wanna hear from you. So put a yes. Put your thoughts, put your reflections, put your questions. We will respond to anything and everything in the comment thread. Also smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. If you're starting to see this, if you're starting to see how building out your ICP, not in like the compute the world, like dream way, but like literally, what's my number? How many leads do I need? How many accounts do I need? Who are they? Like build up initial customer profile for this year. If you're starting to see how building out the strategic narrative will make everything else a lot easier, then hit me with a yes. This is super powerful, guys. And I've done this before. It raises all ties, it rises all ties. It's puts you on accelerant, it's super powerful. Okay, now before we go to the final principle, if you are building this stuff out and you want a proven framework to follow, if you wanna just work with me to build this stuff out so you have a 2021 go-to-market machine, uh, check out my SaaS go-to-market coaching program. This is exactly why I built it. Based on hard lessons learned and actually doing this for the last 15 years, that's why I built this program. All right, now let's go to principle number three. All right, now I'll give you more details about the program in the end. Principle number three is your Broadway show. Now, most marketing teams will go in every week and be like, what do we do now? Do we run this ad? Do we run this blog post? We'll hire a content person. We'll do this or we'll run a webinar. They're all over the place. Now, I, I learned this from Russell Brunson. Russell Brunson talks to us about this. Instead of doing a whole bunch of things every week and it's all random, what you wanna be doing is running one Broadway show. If you have your, and this compounds on each other, these three principles. If you have your ICP, right? You know exactly who you want to be targeting, the type of people you want to be targeting. You have your strategic message, your manifesto that you can use to attract these people. Then what you want to be doing is running a Broadway show, a consistent show every week that uses your manifesto to attract them and bring them into your trial or your sales process. And you want to run that same show over and over and over and over and over. And you do that, you will grow. It'll compound. More and more people will know about you. They'll keep seeing you. They'll see the consistency. They'll see the urgency from the manifesto. They'll read the manifesto. They'll trust you. And then they'll come into your sales, sales and marketing process. So that's principle number three. Don't do a bunch of ad hoc things every week and say, what are we gonna do now? Run a Broadway show. Those are the three principles. To recap, number one, your ICP. Number two, your manifesto. Number three, your Broadway show. You do these three things, it will strengthen your go-to-market strategy. It'll strengthen and fortify your go-to-market machine. It will make you an unstoppable force in the market to go dominate in 2021. If you don't do these things, then you will be stuck in the one more feature trap. 
You will not optimize for distribution. You will keep telling yourself like, with this one more feature, we're finally gonna nail it. Or with this one more blog post, people will finally start to pay attention to us. Those things don't work. You need a proper go-to-market machine to drive growth, you need distribution. And these are the three things that really bring it together. Also, there's a difference between strategy and execution. Strategy are these things. This is where you really look at the obstacles in the market and you actually figure out a design on how to overcome them and actually have a cohesive plan of attack. Execution is when you actually run that ad or do that blog post and update that website copy and run that webinar or send that email. But if you do those things disconnected from an actual strategy, then it won't work. So you need to do both. And that's why this is super, super important. So to recap, number one, ICP. Number two, manifesto. Number three, Broadway show. Now, if you want help doing this, if you want to follow a framework, if you want my coaching and building out your go-to-market strategy and machines, so you can do dominate in 2021, then I invite you to apply to join my SaaS go-to-market coaching program. It's super simple. Just go to tkkater.com slash GTM. Over there, you'll see all the details around the program and what we talked about. In there, you'll have an application form. You just fill out some questions. And when you fill out those questions, it'll help us understand where you are and if we can help you. The better the fit, the better the results. We'll get on a call. You and I will actually get on a call and we'll talk through your application. And if there's a great fit, I'll answer any questions. We'll take it from there. That's it. That's the SaaS go-to-market coaching program. And inside of that program, I give you the training, I give you the framework to follow, I give you the examples, I give you my coaching, I run a mastermind call every Wednesday with all the CEOs in the program, and we help make sure that you have an unstoppable go-to-market machine. That's what the program's all about, and I'm so pumped about kicking off this program in 2021. 2020 was an incredible year for the program. We've had some amazing success stories, so we're really excited about taking it to the next level in this, in this year. And so I invite you to apply to join, and we'll get on a call and figure out if we can actually help you get to that next stage of growth. Just go to tkkater.com slash GTM. If you got value from this video, be sure to smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm and for us. We just love it when we see that. Comment below with your questions, reflections, thoughts. You just mean the world to us. If you're part of a Slack group or a WhatsApp group or a mailing list, please share this video. We want to help as many SaaS founders as possible. Share this with your friends. And also, lastly, be sure to hit the subscribe button and that bell icon if you haven't already. That way you'll get notified as I drop more videos like this. And lastly, remember, everyone needs a strategy for their life and their business, especially in 2021. But when you are with us, yours is gonna be unstoppable. I'm TK, and I'll see you in the next episode.